What's up, Wayne Byrne here with darkfakes.net. We are inside of Microsoft Excel 365, and what we're going to be doing here is creating a check registry. And so, as you can see here, we have our transactions, our date, description, withdrawals, deposits, and balances. So, let's go ahead and get this thing started. Uh, Control or Command N on a Mac to create a new. Let's try that again. Make sure you select it to <laughs> create a new one. Okay, so what we want to do is that we want to uh, have our transactions. So we're going to go ahead and type in transactions. Just tab over to our date, tab over to description. And then our balance. Let's go ahead and expand this on out. Okay, the first thing we want to do is right click on our date. And when you come over here, you select them. You left click to select the entire column. Right click, go to Format Cells, come over here to date and choose the very first date or whichever date that you prefer. I'm going to choose the default, click OK. We're going to come over here to all withdrawal, hold down alt and just drag across and you can grab a hold of your D, E and your F. Right click, come down to format cells, let's go to currencies and we're going to choose the very first one, click OK. Okay, so we're going to come down, well first let's come over here and select our very top column see right now or top row right now if you scroll it is going to scroll with you and, and we're going to lose it so inside of previous versions of excel you would come over here to window and do this but we're going to come over here to view and we're going to choose to freeze frame and we're going to freeze the top row now right there it's going to freeze our top row to where now we can scroll and our top row stays the same so now let's come over here to our f3 and that right there, uh, your letter F and the third column or third row. F is the column, number is the row number. So now we're going to come up here and we're going to type in the following formula. If D3 is greater than 0.001 comma F2, take away D3 plus E3 comma if E3 is greater than 0.001 comma F2 dash D3 plus E3 comma and there we go. Hit on the enter key and then over here to where the cursor turns into a black plus not the big white plus but a black plus click and just drag drag as far down as you want to go we're just going to come all the way down to about a hundred yep that would be hundred now whenever you click on each one as you can see our formula is inside of each and every row or cell so now Let's go ahead and okay this right here is going to be our opening deposit we'll come over here we're going to type in 500 okay then we're going to come over here to our transactions and we're going to say uh, let's just say that we wrote a check for five six eight nine that's our check number and it was written on date 02 28 2014 uh, child's school lunch okay and it's a withdrawal what does lunches cost nowadays about what $25 a week so we're going to do $25 and then as you can see it automatically um, changed our balance from the opening $500 to a minus 25 to 475 so if we come over here and let's say that uh, we deposit 
and this one was done on 301 2014 and uh, paid for services and we come over here and let's just say that we got paid three hundred and fifty dollars and twenty five cents for whatever click and then it automatically updates our balance from the 475 to add the 35025 to make it 825.25 so this right here is a really good way to um, keep up with your checks your money in your bank and everything and if you run out of room if you come all the way down here to the bottom and you're out of room oops get to the right one here then what you do is just come over here and you click again and you just drag it right on down you just drag it as far down as you need it to go and then it is going to put it down that far so now you can go all the way to 1678 records so that ought to keep you busy for a little while all right wayne baron here with darkfix.net y'all have a rocking time now bye bye